hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is dominique if you are new and if you are new welcome i am a second semester student and i will be starting the second semester this upcoming august and i'm really excited but today i'm here to tell you guys do's and don'ts of semester one i will be doing this every single semester so i feel like these are important do's and don'ts of the first semester so if you are interested then just keep watching so the very first do of semester one is to definitely find an effective study group i cannot express this enough definitely try to find a study group that you know everyone thrives off of each other you want to make sure you are in a study group that not only the person next to you can benefit from but you can benefit from as well you never want to be the smartest person at the table and i know that may sound so funny but you never want to be the smartest person in the room because if that's the case then you are not learning from the next person so make sure you are finding a study group where everyone is bound ideas off of each other and you are not the only one in there that's giving answers so make sure everyone is a group and is harmonious you will find this to be very beneficial especially when it comes test time and when it comes finals time you know you have a group that you feel super comfortable with and you know that everyone cares about getting a good grade a former group in the beginning of the semester and find you know a few people that want to get an A just like you but also make sure you are not getting in a big group and studying is no longer studying and you guys find yourself having side conversations make sure your group is on point and when you guys sit down to do work you're actually doing work and not talking about what you're going to be doing this weekend now you know having side conversations is not a problem because you know sometimes we all just you know want to have a little break but if you find yourself majority of the time talking about your weekend plans with your group then maybe you need to remove yourself from the group because that is not an effective study group it just sounds like a weekend group okay now my first don't of semester one is to never compare yourself and i noticed that a lot of the semester one students would do this now the following day after we got our test grades a lot of people would share their test grades and i feel like it would be with bad intentions just to put the other person down and that was something i did not like and i never partook in that if anyone asked me my test grade in school i would not share it you know unless it was one of my friends or something like that but I never shared my test grade because I never wanted someone to feel like I was putting them down and even when I share my test grades on Instagram it is for inspirational purposes only because you guys DM me back and you know you say like goals you know things like that that is what I want it to be for I don't want it to come off as bad intentions like yeah like you know I we don't do that we do not compare ourselves we do not compete with the person next to us the only person I'm in competition with is me do not compare yourself to the next person because i stress this so much on my channel but everyone is different everyone has different circumstances everyone has different stress levels so never compare yourself no matter what it is never compare yourself to the next person in life period because then you will always see yourself being in competition and that's what we're not here to do we're not here to be in competition with the next person we are here to be in competition with ourselves so we can become a better version of ourselves than we were yesterday so never compare yourself to the next person never ever my second do of semester one is buy a planner this should have actually been my first do because you guys know i love planners so much and just time management period that is my that's my thing okay so definitely buy a planner and use it you can buy a planner all you want you can have 18 planners and not use any of them never look inside of them but you have to not only buy a planner but you have to use it as well guys trust me it is a lifesaver it has been several days where i've looked inside my planner and i forgot something was due but it's inside my planner at the end of the day we are all human we cannot remember everything and if we do remember everything you cannot remember every single detail so definitely buy a planner and utilize it don't only put dates in there but make sure you're checking them and make sure you know you're checking off things and stuff like that my second don't of semester one is do not wait until the last minute and you need to plan with the planner that i told you to do get in the second do okay i feel like semester one is is like a dip your toes in the water type of semester you know it's to get you ready for what is to come so this is the time that you need to learn how to utilize time management this is the time for you to get it down packed 
and the number one way for you to get time management down pack is by utilizing your planner and when you do that you will notice that you do not wait until the last minute to do things when you wait until the last minute to do a project or write a paper you are creating stress that you wouldn't even have had had you time managed yourself properly my last due for semester one is do take self-care time in semester one you are trying to get the hang of things you know everything is new to you and you're just on go 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 but you have to learn how to just sit down and take some time for yourself even if it is just watching a movie or giving yourself a face mask just take that time not to do any homework not even be on your phone just have that time solely for you but definitely take care of yourself because like i said you're always on go your mind is always on go but sometimes you just need a break we even had a lesson about this in school as well i believe it was the very first week because they know when you come in you're just on go like it's like you always have an adrenaline rush so you have to learn the importance of having some self time and i would highly recommend that you do this at least once a week find a day that maybe you're off of work or you don't you know you don't have class on that day whatever the case may be but definitely find at least one day that you can just sit down and watch a movie dedicate that time to watch a movie put it in your planner okay put in your planner watch a movie and my last don't for semester one is do not study to remember study to make it make sense now i've always stressed this on my channel and i feel like this is the number one way that i do pretty well on my tests is because i never study things to remember because if i'm remembering everything none of it makes sense i'm just remembering stuff if that makes sense if you study to make things make sense it's like a puzzle it's like you understand why one plus one equals two versus you trying to force yourself to remember that one plus one equals two if you understand things then you can walk yourself through problems which is very important in nursing and you will learn that when you have your nursing test you will see that nursing exams are not what is the definition of don't get me wrong you may have like one or two of those type of questions like just straight up what is the definition of this but nine times out of ten majority of your questions are going to be scenarios so if you cannot walk yourself through a problem and you are strictly studying to remember then you are going to find things to be much more complicated than they probably really are you have to study to make things make sense understand the puzzle understand why one plus one equals two understand things do not just study to remember and just throw things in your brain now do not get me wrong some things just don't make sense okay some things you're just gonna have to remember but please guys try to make things make sense majority of the time just go in with that mindset as an upcoming nurse you should want to know why something is happening and not just remember like okay well when this happened this happens no you should want to know why because then you can walk yourself through the problem and then you actually remember it that way because it's like okay well yeah i remember that that happened because that happened because that happened you know it's like a b and then c never try to remember a b c just know why so always study with the intention to know why something is happening so you guys that is going to go ahead and wrap up this video i hope that you enjoyed and congratulations to those of you who that will be starting first semester starting nursing school honestly congratulations to everybody whether you're going to second semester third or fourth or you're graduating congratulations we are one step closer to our goal so congratulations to everybody i hope that you guys enjoyed this video you can really use these tips for any semester but i thought that these are great for first specifically but that is it i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next one